Hey team, it's John. This video is going to be the concatenation of three successive videos probing at the stability and fault tolerance of the JRB hitch. I'm working with a routine which is reviewing the hitch and providing me with suggested tests that I'm doing my best to execute and then I'm posting them and I'm, I'm getting feedback. But to the average viewer, you might not really be interested in watching the entire uh, set of three tests. Uh, but the point I would like you to, to take away from this is just that I'm trying to proceed uh, in a methodical fashion with this hitch because it is my intent that we might use it in life safety applications and I don't take that lightly and I want to make sure that we're following the appropriate protocol and that we are safe along the way. All right, thank you and enjoy the tests. Team, it's John. Today we're testing the fault tolerance of the JRB hitch in a series of tests that were prescribed to me as suggestions. So I'm stepping up onto a chair just getting a good 8-10 feet off the ground and snugging up my JRB hitch and I'm going to load that with my body weight and keep my feet pretty close to the ground. So what I'll do is I'll come on back and zoom in. I'm working alone today. Zoom in so you can keep your eye on the hitch instead of me. Okay. And so now I'm up here and I'm loading it, oh, not attached, I'm loading it with my body weight and I might be out of the field of view but I'm loading it from left to right with my body weight bouncing. I'm going to unload it, I'm going to whip it. So as I loaded it, you can see that some slack opened up inside of that portion of the hitch, but it doesn't seem to impact its overall stability. So I will reload it with my body weight. And you can tell by the direction of the rope where I am. Unload it. Bouncing. Bouncing in different directions. Slack. I'm basically trying to untie it without touching it. I'm trying to get it loose. And now I'm bouncing as hard as I can. Okay, so you get the idea. Now, it was suggested that I test the properties, the fault tolerance as it releases. So as carefully as I can, I'm going to try to pull on the release line. It's not under load. Here we go. Try to pull the release line so that the first stage goes. Yeah, I'll pause right there and reload it. As long as that, as long as that bite is in there, it's solid. I'm going to slowly... So now it's effectively half released. Saw that pop through and I'm loading it and I was able to get it to go. Okay, so there you go. JRB hitch, fault tolerance. Hey team, it's John with another episode of the JRB hitch. A series of tests were suggested for the hitch and one of them probes at the hitch's stability and fault tolerance. And I'm gonna give that an informal try. So on the oak tree in the backyard, 
I have fashioned the hitch a couple meters, eight feet or so off the ground and just snugged it up. And what I'm going to do is load it. But in order to keep your eye on the hitch and not on me, I'll simply zoom in on the hitch a bit so you can do so and I'll describe my shenanigans. Okay, so series of friction hitches. I'm going to engage my body weight and wearing my saddle on the hitch. And load it with my body weight. And you can tell, you can't see me, you can tell by the angle of the rope where I am doing some bouncing. bouncing as hard as I can with my body weight I'm gonna simulate a minute to fall my friction hitches give a little bit but I don't know. By my estimation, for a normal propel, I can't imagine giving it anything near what I'm giving it now. Unload it. Do some slack testing. Or whipping it. Doing everything I can to effectively untie the knot without pulling the release line. Okay, I'm going to reload it, my body weight. Sorry about the rope colors, I just tend to go with camouflage ropes due to my hunting hobby. But hopefully you can get an idea of what's going on. Okay, uh, the last thing I want to test is how it releases and if I engage load in the middle of the release process. I don't expect it to remain uh, stable, but I'm going to go ahead and start to trigger the release. So you see that bite disappearing? I can load it now, it's just as strong as ever. Okay, so now as delicately as I can, I'm going to try to trigger, well, I'll load it there, still the same, I've done a lot of these kind of tests, but I've not had a whole lot of luck here. As soon as it starts to release, it, you know, both bites go. And now if I apply load, it, it should disintegrate. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that's the best I, best I can do. I've done a few of these and they, they look generally the same. Um, very stable under load and as we as it begins to decompose uh, it, it will release thank you hey team it's John with another informal test of the JRB hitch a series of tests were prescribed and I'm trying to execute those in an informal fashion here in the backyard so I'm gonna step up just on a patio chair just a few feet off the ground and I'm gonna fashion the hitch Getting ready to load the correct side. There we go. Rope is a little bit wet. There's snow on the ground. Done a couple tests already. Okay, so that's that's tight. And so what I'm going to do is subject it to just the weight 
of my body. Let that set. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step back to the camera and zoom in so you can keep your eye on the hitch instead of me. Okay, hopefully that's good. And I'm going to reload it with my body weight. Different directions. Bouncing. And now I'm going to basically fall as hard as I, I can with my feet still on the ground. Some cyclic loading. Now I'm gonna let it go loose. I'll whip it. Different directions. Reload it, get my friction hitches set. I'm basically doing everything I can to unsettle or untie or loosen the hitch without drawing the release line. And I'm not saying it can't be done, but I, I can't seem to do it. going above and beyond what I could imagine in the field in my in my tree climbing hobby. Okay. And the other thing that was suggested was to examine the hitch as it, the first stage is triggered and and reload it. So I'm going to put about three quarters of my weight on the hitch, both feet still on the ground, and catch myself should it go. And I'm going to start drawing on the release line, which requires, you know, some work. A good 25% of my body is going into this pull. And I'm going to try to trigger that first stage. It's a little hard to do. I have to take I have to take some weight off of it because I have to put more than half my weight on it. So I got more weight on. on just watch how this. Right now I'm cyclic loading, even with that little nub of a bite in that binding munter, it still holds. Let's see if we can get that to pop. I'm unloading it. There, it's just popping off. Now you can see how. I've got almost no weight on it. Now if I put my weight on it, it should release. There we go. Okay, so that's that's the hitch. Again, I can cyclic loading test, I can do those uh, quite easily. Uh, it is quite stable. And that's that's how it releases. Thank you. Look forward to your comments.